What's going on YouTube? Run Good Life coming back at you with yet another video and we are on to box number two of three of 2020 Topps Gypsy Queen. Um, this is a product I typically do about one box of a year but a lot of you asked me to do uh, do open some on the channel so I decided let's do three boxes. So got them at about $100 a piece is what I believe I paid. Let's go ahead and get into this one. So uh, for that for that $100 price point, which, you know, compared to like a Jumbo for Series 1, you're looking at about $120 uh, on those. So for $100, you are guaranteed two autographs. And um, I do also think that there's some added value here because you also get the three box toppers. I'm trying to... They do this little weird, like, it's kind of, if you can tell, it's like a flip-up box. And so they do this sticker right here that's actually pretty annoying, I would imagine probably gives the breakers fits uh, having to do that for everyone so pop it open and you kind of have this cool like old style almost like a tobacco box if you will display you can also use the box later on it just kind of closes on top so you know kind of cool um, kind of innovative I do like the boxes on these more than any other box uh, for a product so you get 24 packs, 8 cards per pack. You also get a 3 card chrome pack. So a lot of chance for like super fractors and stuff in there. So let's go ahead. Two autographs. Two on-card autographs. Now the auto checklist is pretty weak, but it does have all of top standard guys. Uh, I've seen like a Tatis get hit out of here. I've seen a Vlad. I've seen Trout actually as well. So I believe I saw Trout. I had a 2012 Griffey at one point from Dustin May. Going to start it off with a nice rookie. Adam Ontavino. Our first auto is going to be AJ Puck. So rookie AJ Puck in the very first pack. So I believe that the either first pack or second pack in the top left corner had our auto last time. So AJ Puck is going to be our first auto. Hanley, Paxton, and Belt. I am still on the Canon, or not Canon, the Fujifilm X-T30, which I just got last week. Been playing around with trying to set, get the uh, settings dialed in. I really like it right now, so I think that this series was a good uh, starting point for it, just to kind of get some experience with it. Austin Nola, um, younger brother of Aaron Nola, rookie for the Mariners. Be interesting to see what he can do. I play as the Mariners in MLB The Show, and they have them rated something stupid, something like 76. Mitch Hanniger is like an 81, so. Uh, is this, uh, ooh, we got a, we got, I forgot about him. I didn't even talk about him at all in the first video, but there's a very good rookie on the back, and a blue in this pot, pack, so this is going to be a good pack. Andleton Simmons, Araldis Chapman, Manny Machado is going to be our, is this Indigo to 250? Indigo to 250 on the Manny Machado. Oh, that's a nice little card right there. We have, here we go though, Louis Robert. Louis Robert of the Chicago White Sox. This is going to be, he did have a rookie card in opening day, except it's super, super short print. So it's going for what, what like 70 or 80 bucks right now. So this one going to be the first and the more accessible one. That I would consider that almost to be a hit. That's a little bit better than your standard rookie. That one's going to be the top rookie in the set. I forgot he was even in this product, actually, believe it or not. Um, it's going to be the top rookie above Jordan and Aquino because they have already had rookies in Series 1. So that is going to be your top rookie. We have Araldis Chapman. It's interesting. I don't know if these are actually like... I don't think they make a game. But I do like the Gypsy Queen, like the tarot card, if you will, background. Hoskins, McMahon, and a Bo Bichette rookie. So, good rookie so far out of this row of the box. Now, with the Gypsy Queen, you do have to look for, like, no name panel. You have to look for Gypsy Queen Swap, where there's the actual Gypsy Queen logo. Uh, and also, Legends and Hall of Famers are going to be short prints as well. So, I don't know if there's, like, super short prints, but we will find out. Christian Yelich is going to be a Fortune Tellers, Hunter Dozier, Charlie Blackman, and Ryan Braun. The Nico rookie guard, Nico Horner, Juan Soto, Yon Moncada, Kavan Beggio, Rugnade Odor, 
Cole Calhoun, Jake Fraley, Seattle Mariners, and Alberto Mondesi. Do I see a like a cigarette card in here or a tobacco card, if you will? Brantley, Rosario, Glass, now Yates, Jordan Alvarez, fortune tellers. So more Jordan showing up for us. Good looking card too. Uh, Mauricio Dubon, Max Kempler, Sean Murphy. Patrick Corbin, Marvel Berrios, Sam Hilliard, Steven Strasburg running the bases. Is that going to be a short print? Sure is not. Mitch Garver, Trey Turner. Vladdy Jr. going to be right on front here. Good looking cards. I, I said it in the first video, but I do like the, the design. It doesn't really change too much year to year. Just that kind of classic design. Uh, I do like it a lot. I also like the kind of the sandish borders, which really have the colors pop. I like how they color the picture kind of fades into the border. Um, so from an artistic standpoint, these cards are fantastic. We have a Brandon Dixon, Xander Bogertz, O'Hearn, and Trevor Story. I don't like that they put a rookie on the back of the pack. Just see more rookies than not on the back of the pack. And the reason I don't like that is just cards in the front of the back have a better chance. Second auto, it's going to be a Chris Bryant. Nope, it is not going to be an auto. So fooled <laughs> but I believe this is going to be a short print ah uh, damn I really thought we hit a Chris Bryant auto there but it's going to be short print you can tell from the number there not sure what the short print is going to be it might just be a photo variation uh, I thought that we had a Chris Bryant auto right there I was going to be really happy with that but Aaron Otto and Yu Chang Little uh, little mis uh, misdirection there, if you will. Shed Long from the Mariners. Matt Thias. We have Thunder. Pete Alonzo. Uh, Terret of the Diamond. This is a, such a good looking card. You don't want to shuffle these for sure, but I love those. Rosario, Azale, and Meadows are going to round out that pack. Jeff Smarja, Fran Mo Reyes, JT Realmuto, Pete Alonzo. We have a black and white variation of Shohei Otani. Numbered 28 of 50. I did not know that those were numbered. I always forget about those. I do have one of Mitch Hanniger. So Shohei Otani. This box has been pretty good so far. The Bryant. The, uh, what else do we get? The Louis Robert. Louis Robert. Santander, Bregman, and Diaz are going to round out that pack. I think we're like, this is halfway through, so that first half was pretty good. The auto, again, the auto checklist in this, typically a little bit weaker, a lot of names, but he's a cheater, Devers, Grom, Victor Robles, Gavin Lux, there's Lux. Rookie card right there. Duffy and Sterling Marte. Lambert. There's a Trout base. I set that with kind of my hits because I do like holding on to my Trouts. No name. Is this a uh, sure? This a Drupal Cabrera. Oh, I'm so bad. Kind of look like Scherzer a little bit. You can give me some credit. Uh, is Drupal Cabrera, and that's going to be a no nameplate on front. So, that actually doesn't look anything like Scherzer. I'm, I'm not going to be able to sell you guys on that one. That was just me not knowing as Drupal Cabrera. Grandel, Bell, and Adam Hazley. A couple packs left in the middle row. Michael Lorenzen, all those tattoos. Jose Ramirez. 
Randall Gearcheck, Jansen, Chris Davis, Buster Posey, and Max Freed. Final pack of the center row. After this pack, I am going to pause the video and resume it. 15 minute file size limit on this camera. Fortunately, which means we are going to have to swap cameras in the month of April, so no big deal. We have Yelly, Means, Yamato, Fam, Tatis Jr. is going to be a fortune teller for us. Edmund, Gallon, and Lopes. Alright, so here we go. Final eight packs, and then of course our box hopper. And again, I've been pretty happy with this box so far. We're still doing auto, and of course the box topper. And in the last box we had two colors, so we'll see if we can hit second color as well. Tyler Alexander, Ramos, Acuna Jr. is going to be a fortune teller's. Reyes, Keston Hira, and Luis Castillo. David Peralta, Yusei Kikuchi, Michael Baez, Robbie Ray, Trevor Story, Terrets, what are these called? Terrets of the Diamond. Good looking card. Trevor Story, we just had a conversation about him being undervalued and huge, huge undervalued in my opinion. So, if Story ever turns it on or if he ever goes to a big market, uh, his stuff is going to shoot up. And he's already turned it on. He has good stats, so... I think he's undervalued. Nicholas, Trey Mancini, Kyle Hendricks, our auto. Is going to be Pete Alonzo. Oh, my gosh. Mother of God. Whew. And that's going to be number to 50, I believe. Holy cow. Pete Alonzo, 27 of 50. Talk about a box. This box is wild. Hold up, what number is, is Pete Alonzo 27? Is this jersey number? I do not know Pete Alonzo's number, and forgive me, but I do see a 2 on there, so. I know Trout is 27, so. Pete Alonzo, 27 of 50. What a crazy card. We'll set that there. <laughs> What a crazy card. We'll set that right there, actually. Shinsu Chu and Travis Demerit. This was the fire box. I should just um, not open that final box, but we will. Can't imagine getting a better box. Brendan Rogers, David Price, Dave, Mike Schmidt. That's going to be a short print. You can tell just by looking at the number on the back. It's number, I believe... Ends in 7-5 right there. So, Mike Schmidt going to be a short print. Bryce Harper, Thames, and DJ Lemayu. I think we're still looking for one more color, maybe. My last box did have two color. One indigo and one blue, which I think is silly. I don't know why we wouldn't just do two different colors. They're both very identical. Bobby Bradley, rookie. David Fletcher, Gene Segura. Kingery, Lucas Giolito, and Mitch Keller. Gio Urshela, Kyle Schwarber, Aaron Judge, Blake Snell, Brock Burke, yep, Listella again, Brandon Crawford, and Ender Incarciante. Two packs left, and then we will get into the box topper pack. I'm excited for that one. Although I can't imagine there being anything crazy in there, given how, how good this box has been. We do something interesting in here. Mike Miner. Glaber Torres to 50. Holy smokes. This pa this box. So we got three black and whites. Otani, Glaber, and the Pete Alonzo Auto. 22 of 50 on this card. Holy smokes. What a box. Garrett Cole and Starling Castro. A final pack. That's going to be our, our other colored card for sure. I think we actually hit three color because we also hit, um, didn't we hit uh, one to 250 as well, blue? I'll do, I'll do a rundown of the hits, but this one's been nuts. 
Cruz, Arietta, Shohei, Archie Bradley, Bellinger, and Trevor Bauer. Let's go ahead and get into these three gypsy box topper chromes. I do, I love the look of these. These look really good, so we'll see. Max Muncie. We have a blue. Is there only two in here? Nope, there is a third card stuck behind. So we will look at the blue last. We have a Freddie Freeman, a Max Muncie, and the blue is going to be Trey Mancini. That blue, I believe, is numbered to what, 50 or 99? 99, 69, and 99 on the Trey Mancini. So let's go ahead and run down the hits in this box because there were there were hits and hits and hits so just some rookies and inserts things i sorted out right there but here's kind of my pile of hits cards that i liked trey mancini max muncie freddie freeman glaber torres to 50 mike schmidt short print no uh name on front that's going to be the is Drupal cabrera shohei otani to 50 chris bryant Short print. I don't know if that's just a photo variation. Luis Robert, rookie card. Manny Machado. AJ Puck, on card auto. And the big one. Number to 50. 27 of 50. Pete Alonzo, on card auto. Just a huge hit. That's a really good hit. 27 of 50. Great looking card. And uh, so, yeah, that's going to do it for the break. Uh, let me know what you guys th thought of the break. Let me know if you guys have been busting any Gypsy Queen yourselves. If you plan to bust any Gypsy Queen. And um, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys like my content, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Because tomorrow, or in a couple of days, we do have one more hobby box of Gypsy Queen left. And uh, that's going to do it for the break. So stay safe out there, and we will catch you on down the road.